Nacho. for his goodness today oh, yes. and his keeping power oh, yes. for keeping us alive and to oh, be the witness to his to his word oh, yes. last Sunday um, we talked about the word yes. out of John chapter 1 verses 1 and 2 uh, <clears throat> this week, I'm going to go back to perhaps the, you might call this the second part of that, but I'm going to uh, expand it to verse 3, 4, and 5, <clears throat> but I'm going to read uh, John chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things, verse 3, all things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. I, I read that verse last week, but I'm adding these this week. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Verse 5, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it, or did not understand it, or did not overcome it. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it, the, yeah, yeah. the eternal word or the word. The opening words of this gospel bear a striking parallel with the opening words of Genesis, the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. John's own particular line contribution is to show that the word existed before creation. And that's what I want to, to amplify today. Amen. Existed before creation. This is uh, uh, important. It's uh, implicit in the opening words. In the beginning was the word. And although the verb is used in the past tense, the idea is continuity. The word that now is was in existence before the world began. That at once introduced a profound theme made more profound by the subsequent two statements. Amen. The Greek proposition, preposition rather translated with suggests the idea of communion. The thought is literally towards God, which requires some distinctiveness between God and the Word. But the next phrase adds a further aspect. Amen. Since it affirms that the word was God, amen, uh, since God is a noun, John must be affirming the Godhead of the word. And it involves not only divinity, but deity, divinity and deity. John in his gospel 
proves that Christ is God. He assessed his, uh, his, his existence in the beginning. His coexistence with the Father. The Word of God. Now listen what he says in verse 3. All things were made by him. And not as an instrument. But without him was not anything made that was made. From the highest angel down to the lowest creature. To the lowest worm. This shows how well qualified he was for the work of redemption and salvation. Yeah. Yeah. This eternal word, this true light shines, but the darkness, amen, comprehends it not. Yeah. Yeah. The close connection between life and light, uh -huh. life and light is not unexpected. Yeah, yeah. For in the physical world, life is dependent on light. Yeah, yeah. If there's no light, there is no life. And this idea is here also transferred to the spiritual world. Yeah. Help me somebody. Three things, three short things, and I'm finished today. Amen. I'll be out of your way. First of all, the light is the life of the Son of God. The light is the life of the Son of God. It's right here. Verse 4, in him was life. Him. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Are y'all going to pray here? Now, now, this simply means that the light that shines in the darkness is the light of life. We see that in John chapter 8 verse 12. Are y'all going to pray? The life, the life, I'm saying the life of the sun is the light of the world. Now, the first reason the light will triumph, triumph over darkness is that it is life. Praise the Lord. It, it's a living light. Amen. It's a living light. And there are at least four things about this light that's revealed in verse 4. Amen. Number one, the light of life has energy and power. Say energy and power. Because the life of the sun, S-O-N, the Son of God has energy and power. Come on, help me here. Catch that. The second thing is the light of life, I'm saying life, has purpose and motion. Remember what you're teaching this morning. Amen. It has purpose and motion. It's not static. It plans. It moves. It shines. It's alive with the life of the sun. Third thing is the light of life grows and expands. His life is a fountain of life. The fourth thing is the light of life beget offsprings. Help me somebody. I put it another way so you understand it, amen. You may not understand offspring, but in other words, amen, if you have the light of life, you have children. Amen. Verse John 12, 36, believe in the light that you may become sons of the light. Help me somebody. So if you have light of life, you have energy and power. You're not weak. You have energy and power. Say amen. You have purpose and motion. Praise the Lord. You're not, you're not sitting still. You're not, you're not useless. You have, you, you, you have plans and you're moving. Amen. You have motion. You're, you're shining bright. You're alive and, and you're growing. 
and you expand him. Say amen. And you have an offspring. You, you're giving life to more children like you. Somebody say amen. And if none of that is happening, guess what? You do not have the light of life. Praise the Lord. So, so the first reason, the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness does not overcome it is that this light is living. And it has energy and purposefulness and growth and reproduction. Say amen. Amen. And catch this. It has energy, it's purposefulness, growth, and reproduction. And every child of God should have purposefulness, amen, growth, reproduction, and energy. Praise the Lord. It's not a static thing like a, a stoplight. Praise the Lord. That might be ignored. You can't ignore somebody that got the light of life. The light that shines in the world today is the very life of the Son of God. But the second thing I'm almost through, the second thing is the life is the the life of the creator of all things. Praise his name. I said again, second thing I notice is the life is the life. I didn't say life that time. It's the life of the creator of all things. It's right here in the text. Verse 3. All things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. Now, now, now the hymn in verse, in this verse, is the same hymn in verse 4. Say amen. In verse 3, it said, made through him. And without him, nothing in, made. And in verse 4, it said, in him was life. It's the same hymn. So the point is, is this, the, the energetic purpose for growing productive life that shines in darkness is the life of none other than the one through whom all things were made. Mm, come on, help me, Matthew. The word, that's what he's talking about, the word. The life that shines in the light is the life of the creator. So, so we know that the power of darkness is, catch this now, this is important. So we know that the power of darkness is not as strong as the life because this life created the power of darkness. Without him, but not anything made that was made. And no created thing is more powerful than its creator. Say amen. Uh, I think you missed that. It says all things. It says all things. It says all things. And right here, right here, I think I'll drop this in your spirit. Right here, this is the shouting point. Right here, the question always arises, if Christ created all things. Mm -hmm. Does that mean he created evil? That always come up in the conversation. Certainly not. No, he didn't create evil. Because evil is not a thing. Say evil is not a thing. It, it is the, the attribute or condition of someone or something. Say amen. Let me see if I can make it plain. God also did not create good. For good is also the attribute mm, of condition of someone or something. You're looking at me strange. Well, let me go a little further by dropping back in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. To see the truth. God said, let there be what light. And there was light. And God saw the light was good. 
say amen. Did you catch that? I didn't think I didn't I didn't I don't think y'all with me. You, you're kind of slow today. He said, he said, he said, let there be light. And surely he said, and, and there was light. And God saw the light was good. Say amen. He, he, he didn't say he saw good, but he said a light was good. Here's what he said. Light was the thing uh, Christ brought forth. Uh, and good was the attribute of the light. Y'all ought to shout right there. And since good is an attribute of God, all things that God created are good and remain good until they what remove themselves. Amen, somebody. I said, I said, whatever God created is stay good until it removed themselves from his posture. Say amen. You, you born with purpose. You were born for God. But you can remove yourself from your purpose and your assignment by free will. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, all things. Can I get a witness here? Even Satan and his angels were created for good. They were, they were heavenly angels. Say amen. They were in charge of the choir, the, the, the praise team in glory. But, but became evil. Say amen. Only when they rejected the good purpose for which they were created. A whole lot of folk rejects the purpose for which God created them for. And so the world is darkness and because of the light of the word that indwells us are uh, the light of the world. So the light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. First because the light is the light of energetic purpose for growing reproductive life second because that this life is the light through whom everything was made including angelic power powers that fell into darkness but that one found thing and I'm out of here this light this light and life is God the word say amen not only is a light a living light? Not only is the life of this light the life of God's word through, through whom he created all things. But this word, this life, this light is like no other. It, it is not a flicker that you turn on and turn off. This, this word, this life, this light is God. And God Almighty cannot be overcome, cannot be thrown out, cannot be altered, cannot be canceled. For verse 1 said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Do y'all see that? It said the Word was with God. And then verse 5 said, the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Did not understand it. Three things. The light is alive. It, it's the light of life. Secondly, uh, through this light, this living word, uh, everything is made. And then thirdly, it's a living word. And if you've got the living word in you, you can live. Because it is God. This word, the word has come to give us life. The light shines, indicating a continuous action. Say amen. The light is constantly showing up the darkness for what it is. Darkness is ignorance and darkness is unbelief. Darkness is rebellion. Darkness is stubbornness. Darkness is not following orders. Say amen. Darkness, uh, the darkness cannot overcome the light 
The light is always a mystery to darkness. But there is a darkness, a, a stubborn rebellion, which makes it impossible for the darkness to understand. Open up to the light. But I'm glad I heard Jesus say in John 8, 12, I am. He said, I am right now. I am where I stand. I am the light of the world. And he who follow me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Say amen. And since Jesus is the truth, he's the light and his life. Say amen. And he say, if you follow me, you're not walking in darkness. Are y'all going to pray here? But unfortunately, a whole lot of folk are walking in darkness today. Say amen. We're not following the light and the life. Walking in darkness. Following lies. Uh, not walking in truth. Uh, but Jesus says, uh, if you follow me, uh, you're not walking in darkness. Uh, if you're walking in darkness, you're going to stumble and fall. Have I got a witness here? The, the Bible says you fall in a ditch. But I thank God for the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. It's eternal, I tell you. Say yeah. A living word that was in the beginning with the Father who was himself God, who was the voice of God, the tongue creative, divine word of God. He accomplished whatever it said while human words disappeared as soon as they spoken. Say yeah, but I'm glad as I close now. Say yeah, you can stand on God's word. You can live on God's word. Stretch out on his word. The word of God always was. He was and he is since he is from him who was always is. What he is, I say it again. The word of God always was. He was, he is, since he is from him who always is. What he is, there can be no doubt who he is. Say yeah, he is God. I said he is God. How do I know the 14th verse? Say the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory yes sir the glory of the only begotten of the father talking about Jesus he was full of grace and truth so yeah if folk turn on to this they turn off from Trump's lies if you turn on to this you walk in truth you believe in the Bible. Huh? Say yeah. Huh? If it turn on to this. Huh? Say yeah. Huh? He said full of grace huh? and truth. Huh? Say yeah. Huh? Y'all need him up in here. Huh? Say yeah. Huh? The Bible said huh? in the 59 huh? chapter of Isaiah. Huh? Truth has fallen huh? in the streets. Huh? Say yeah. Huh? But Jesus said, I am the truth. I'm full of grace and truth. Say, yeah. Trump ain't the truth. But Jesus is the truth. Say, yeah. That truth would nail him to Calvary's cross. Say, yeah. And they tried to keep him there. Say, yeah. They burned him in a grave. But truth got up and said, I got all power in my hand. Trump don't have it. A political party don't have it. Say, yeah, Jesus got power. Power to raise you when you're down. Power to lift you. 
power. Y'all don't want to help me up in here. I said power. Say yeah. To set our soul on fire. Power. To bring you in. When you're out. Power. To fight your battles. He said full of glory. Full of grace. And truth. Grace. Grace. But I didn't deserve it. Truth. And fall line on you. Say yeah. Say yeah. It's living. Say living. It's eternal. Thank God for the word. Come on, praise God for the word. It's a living word. It's a living word. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God always was, Thank he you, was, Jesus. and Thank he you. is, since he is from him, hey. who always is what he is. There can be no doubt to who hey. God is. Hey. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let this word marinate in somebody's heart today. That they seek the truth yes, Lord. of your eternal word. Yes. We love you, we surrender to you. Put ourselves totally in your hands. Yes, Lord. Father, you know I have to travel today. Give this your servant traveling grace. Yes. Yes, Protect me from foolish people. Yes. Put a shield around me from all the COVID foolishness. Yes. Protect me, Lord. Because there's assignment over my head. I have purpose and I have assignment. I believe you, you, you're God of growth, motion and movement and action. And I thank you for your word. Touch somebody who lost, who's sick in you right now. Speak life to us. Yes, Lord. Life. Let it go deeper in your word. Yes, For if we're going to get through this dark season, we need you and your word. Yes. Yes, in Jesus' name, yes. let us all say amen. amen. And amen. amen. God bless you. Yes.